Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to buy Bitcoin on BitGets in 2024. So today, we'll delve into the exciting process of buying Bitcoin on BitGets, which is the leading cryptocurrency exchange platform. So whether you're looking to invest in Bitcoin for the first time or expanding your crypto portfolio, join me as I guide you through the steps of buying Bitcoin on BitGets in 2024. And let's embark our journey in this world of digital currency. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll have to go and create a BitGet account if you don't want or if you don't have one already. Of course, to do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use in this tutorial. For me, it's going to be Brave Browser. And of course, in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically, just go to this URL section. Here, type bitsgets.com and hit the enter button. This should take you into their home screen main screen. If it's your first time, of course, you'll find yourself on a page like this instead. What's different? Basically, just this login. As you can see here, I'm already logged in here. I'm not. So, as you said, if you don't have an account, you'll need to create an account. So, go and click on sign up to create an account uh, using your email and password or mobile and password. Or you can use Google, Apple, Telegram, or even MetaMask or BitGets wallets. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating your accounts, of course, it will be the same for login. If you have an account, just go and log in into that account. As you can see, you can log in with those options. If you have your app in your account, just scan this code to log in into it. If you already logged in into your phone. So once you're logged in into your account, you'll find yourself here. Just go and click on that right here. And you'll so you can find yourself on a dashboard. Of course, basically, you'll have first of all to identity verification. As you can see, you'll have to verify yourself. For me, I'm, I'm verified. And you can add more security, of course, by simply click on it and connect in or configuring the Google Authenticator on your phone. You can add that. This will add a lot of security to your, uh, of course, your account, especially if, uh, if you're afraid, as an example, if you're getting hacked sometime and your passwords got leaked, you'll not be able to do anything without this Google Authenticator, which you will have on your phone, so you don't have to worry about anything. So, other than that, as you can see, you will have to verify your ID. You will need to use like some government ID and face recognition. And of course, they will need uh, an hour to review everything. Just estimate it. You can even like uh, you, your application might get accepted in even 10 minutes or even less, maybe. So as you can see, without verification, you'll not be able to deposit in a crypto or fiat or even do the P2P trading, which is very, very important, of course, during your journey on crypto. So make sure to go and verify your uh, self on BitGets using, of course, your ID, driver license, passport, credential ID, whatever you have, and face recognition verification through a picture or a voice call or sorry, video call with the their support. And yeah, it's, of course, the it will not last even one minute just to see you. And yeah, that's it. So basically, once you have your account verified and you have your security, now it's time to go and try to buy, of course. The Bitcoin. So there are two ways to buy Bitcoin. You can do it through P2P right away from your bank account and get your Bitcoin into your BitGets account. How you can do or you can use the P2P to do so. You can go here to buy crypto and simply go and include or choose the P2P trading. Once you do so here, of course, what you will want, to, what do you want to buy? Simply go here and choose Bitcoin. For me, as you can see, I have no merchants or ads right here at the moment in my country specifically. Uh, at this time, of course, maybe if I come back after one hour, I may find some people are selling it. Uh, and I'm trying to buy this example. So I'll basically have to transfer the money into their bank account and they will transfer me the Bitcoin into my wallet right away. I can use this P2P option. I can use even this credit slash debit card or via Visa or MasterCard. But as you can see, this 100 fee uh, rebates, so it has fees. With this P2P, there is no fees if you are trying to buy, especially if you're trying to buy a large amount. So with the debit or credit card, as you can see, you'll be able to buy as an example. Uh, so maybe here, I'll just go and choose Bitcoin. And I want to buy, as an example, one Bitcoin or something like that. So I'll have to enter the amount, first of all, that I want to buy with. As an example, as you can see, they even have a limit, so you can now pass that limit so you cannot even add one as you can see so the limit is from 15 to 10,000 so not be able to even go and buy more as you can see it even has limits if you want to buy with your credit card debit card and even 
you will get some fees for doing so. So as you can see, you'll receive this amount. So you can simply click on buy and enter. Of course, I'll not be able to do so if I did not verify. So click on buy and enter your details of your card to buy this amount of Bitcoin. But as I said before, if you do so, you will even have to pay some fees. So if you calculate it like with the amount of the market, you'll find it's even more than that. They may be cutting some fees from here or even they can cut fees from your bank account right away. Other than that, as we said, you can do this quick buy with e-wallets. If you have an e-wallet, as an example, and you can go and do it with a Bidget card or Bidget card if you have one. But of course, the best option is simply with P2P. And other than that, if you don't want to buy it with any of those options, maybe as an example, you already have USDT in your account and you simply want to buy it. What you'll need to do then is simply go to the market or simply go here to the search button and look for BTC or Bitcoin slash USDT. As an example, if you have USDT, if you have something other than USDT, you can simply look for it in here. Maybe you have USDC, you have uh, a, a Euro, whatever you have. So for me, I have an example USDT. I'll simply have to go and click on that in here and I'll find the market of Bitcoin right here. So here, of course, there's no limit. You can buy whatever you want or uh, like the amount that you want. So an example, let's say, I want to buy like two Bitcoin. So I'll see here the amount that I should pay as an example, or there's the total that I should pay. I basically have to click on buy BTC. If I have this amount of USDT in my wallet, the purchase will go instantly and I don't have to do anything. And if not, of course, they will ask me to fund my account or something like that. Of course, you can sell uh, to do so also. Of course, you can now go to your wallet as an example, go to your wallet and click on assets to check if the Bitcoin, so simply, the Bitcoin is in your wallet. Normally, you'll find this in the spot wallet. But of course, if you go here to assets, you'll find everything that you have. But normally, in this trading, you'll find everything in spot wallet. Of course, if you're using P2P, you will find your money on the funding account. So you'll have to go and click on transfer and transfer those money from uh, funding. As an example, so from funding account to spot account, so you can trade it out if you want to trade it to USDT or Bitcoin or something like that. And you'll find your Bitcoin right here once you buy it. As you can see, you can even buy it right here or deposit it from another place like Binance or something like that. If you want to, of course, an example, if I go here and click on buy on Bitcoin, as you can see, they'll simply take me to the debit card option that I showed you before. But it's not worth it. Normally, what's worth is P2P trading or as an example, if you didn't find that, as an example, maybe Bitcoin, you can look for USDT instead of people. Normally, you'll find this by USDT and you can buy with this Bitcoin on how I showed you with the markets. So there you have it. I'll show you how to buy Bitcoin on Bidgets in 2024. So if you have any questions or this specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and goodbye.